Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I want to share with you guys um, a little bit of information about the uh, the head cam system I've been using. Uh, I've gotten a couple of questions recently on on uh, Facebook and on the YouTube channel about uh, the system I'm, I'm using now for my head cam uh, when, I'm, when I'm out filming my hunts. And I wanted to share with you what I'm using and a couple reasons why that's the case. Now, as you can see here, um, I've got the the cam strap, okay, made by a company uh, called Solvid, and I'll leave a link. Uh, I'll leave a link to their uh, Facebook page and stuff um, in the description here of the video. So this is the cam strap made by uh, Solvid, and there's a couple of key features that this uh, you know head head strap has that I like in comparison to most other um, head cams out uh, head, head cam straps out there. And as far as the camera. I'm using, currently I'm using the Sony um, X1000V, which is, it's not the most recent Sony model, but it's, uh, I think it was a couple, it's a couple years old now, but it's a 4K, um, it's a 4K action camera. I usually film, honestly, on 1080 most of the time, but it does shoot 4K, um, but again, a couple of reasons why I like the Sony. Um, first of all, I like the Sony because of the form factor over the GoPro. I like the narrow miniature camcorder style camera i just think when it when it's when it's side mounted on onto your head it's just I, I find it ergonomically a little bit easier to deal with as far as turning on and off and in using in a head cam mounted fashion as opposed to the gopro so i just form factor wise i like the sony when it comes to head cam when it comes to head cam mounting so that's why i use the sony and the image quality is excellent on it and I have no complaints there. But back to the head cam strap itself. A couple of things I like about the Solvid strap is, I'll get this on here for you guys and kind of show you a couple of things. Now you're going to see here on the Solvid strap, there's a couple of uh, uh, plastic uh, plastic uh, side plates that got some foam in here. There's two, and you know these, obviously you want to put these on you know the sides of your head and what's great about those uh what's really good about those those plates is they're designed to put in key on a key point on your head now basically what you want to do is the one what i do is the one that's on the camera side of my head okay i pretty much mount that where the ball where the where the actual ball for the for the camera mount is I put that to where it's pretty much at the top of my ear, and that gets it really flush and you know really comfortable on my on my uh, on the side of my head. And I basically you can adjust this other side. You can adjust this, and you want to get that to where that's feeling comfortable and really in you know in a good contour with the shape of your head. And right there, it fits me really good. So what I do is once I kind of get it where I want it, is I just take the strap. Kind of get it generally tightened down. Okay, and then you've got this top strap, which by securing this tightly, by securing this top head straps tightly, now what that does is it's taking pressure off of the camera itself. Okay, so this camera's not, you know, flopping off of the side because the, the top strap is actually putting, you see there, it's actually putting some pressure some uh, some reinforcement pressure onto the camera. So now you've got a camera that's mounted, that's you know really secure on the side of your head. And then once I get the top where I want it, then I take the time and just kind of re-secure the back at a good position. You don't want to get it too tight because if you over tighten it, you can get some pressure points that can you know give you a headache or, or just make it uncomfortable if it's too tight. So you got to kind of find that optimum balance and once you find that optimum balance that's going to work you know for your for your head i mean i can wear this thing literally all day long and it's not a problem and again as far as adjusting the cam i usually just look into a mirror like here i can use my the, the camera screen itself and i can put this where it's right kind of in line with my eyesight and now i secure that down and now pretty much anything that i look at i'm able to film wherever I go and it's very secure. I, I like the head cam strap because you know when 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 you're shooting, whether you're shooting a gun, whether you're shooting a bow, anything you're shooting, 
okay? You, you know, your head is the most secure part of your body, especially when you're aiming. If you're taking the time to aim, usually your head is very still. So by having the head cam strap, you can get really stable, good looking footage and you can do it yourself. So that's why I like this strap and I like the sole lid because, because of the side plates and the way it fits in your head. Now this is this strap is constructed. I don't know the actual material name or what it's called, but basically this material that the sole lid strap is, is created from is the type of material that will not flex. It won't flex or it has no elasticity uh, in the material. So once it's mounted, it's pretty much not gonna go anywhere, okay? It's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna stretch out on you. So once you get it mounted, it's pretty much there until you take it off. And I like the sole lid again because it has the side mount as opposed to like a GoPro head cam mount. Usually you gotta mount up to your forehead and I find it more difficult from a self-filming perspective. I find it more difficult to turn on and off and, and, and do that, you know, fluidly and without much thought process. I find it harder to do on the, you know, front portion of your head with the GoPro than it is side mounted with the Sony. Okay, with this Sony, I can literally turn this on in just like less than two seconds. Once I see something I want to film, whether it be a deer or just something I want to film, I simply have to reach up and one push of the button and I'm on and filming that quickly. And same thing with turning it off. Just basically reach up, one, one, uh, one reach up, top of the button, boom, it's off. So it's very easy to turn on and off. That's why I like the Sony and the side mount. It just, it's very easy to pull your hand up and boom, you're on instantly. You don't have to, I just find it less fiddling around. And when you're self-filming, you, you want to minimize all that fiddling around stuff. So that's why I like the Solvid strap um, and the Sony cam. Um, as far as pricing on this thing, I think it's like maybe 40 bucks on Solvid um, on their website. You can buy this from Solvid. It's a really good strap. Um, again, I got this uh, di this green digital type camo. I think it comes in a different couple different camo uh, versions. But that's my uh, that's the system I've been using, guys. And again, this Solvid strap has you know this ball this ball head has a little screw here that you can adjust the camera to any any position whatsoever. So it's very versatile. You could mount it on the front of your head if you wanted to. I think I'm I'm pretty sure the cam strap is actually designed to be to be side mounted because of the way these plates, these side plates are kind of contoured for that for that portion of your head. So it's a very good fitting uh very good fitting camera strap. It's very high quality material. I've had this thing now for several seasons actually. Um, and it has, you know, still looks the same and, and works the same as I did the day I bought it. Um, the Sony Action Cam, I think, is a really good option for self-filming, um, especially in a head cam uh, system, just because of the ergonomics of the camera specifically. And it has great image quality. So that's a, so there you have it, guys. Just wanted to make this quick video, this quick video for you. I've gotten some questions on my self-filming setup, what I've been using for the head cam. Um, this is what I'm using. I it works really well. Um, and I would recommend it to anybody that wants to get into self-filming with uh, the point of view action camera type hunting. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning into this video, and I look forward to seeing you right back here in the next one.